Hey folks, this is Justin from the Leonidas Knives and Gear channel. I hope you're doing well out there. And I just want to upload a short video about a knife that is new to me. It is actually a, it is a new knife. It's new old stock, discontinued. And uh, my friend Ben over at 5C Knives on Instagram, he was uh, clearing out a lot of old knife in inventory. And uh, he was uh, mentioned to me that he, he was taking trades. So I shot him an offer and he was very generous and accepted. So I really appreciate that. I was excited to get this uh, particular knife because I will say I've not been the biggest Benchmade fan over the years for several reasons, but they've uh, put out a few models that I thought were, were pretty cool that I may, you know, want, want to get my hands on someday. And unfortunately, you know, like the one I've got here was discontinued. Now I will say, uh, I do have quite a few or several of these uh, waving cutters or strap cutters by Benchmade. And these are really nice for the money especially if you can catch them like uh, you know old military surplus. I don't know if they're issued anymore, but they come with some, usually some really nice uh, Molly compatible pouches. So I like to put these on my gear, on knife sheaths, on backpacks, uh, you know, plate carriers, things like that. Just a great piece of gear. But what I've got here, uh, this is the, again, discontinued, the Nim Ravis. And I remember I was um, looking at one of these back, I think it was around 2015. And I like the knife, I like the design, I like the sheath system, but I just didn't pull the trigger. And honestly, I forgot about it. And I saw this knife, uh, you know, Ben was wanting to move it on. And I, and I was like, okay, I remember that, I like that. And here we are. So man, I, I appreciate it. This thing is brand spanking new. Being discontinued like that, you're not gonna find a whole lot that are, you know, mint like this, but really cool sheath system. It has the PALS webbing on the front. I may put the webbing cutter, strap cutter on there, kind of like that two-tone, that coyote in the foliage. I don't even know if this color is even produced by them anymore. May put that on the front, on the back. It's got more of the webbing. Looks like a belt loop and then sort of like a drop leg here, which is really cool. And this knife was probably considered jump ready at the time. I, I believe it was an issued knife. Again, being discontinued, of course, they're not issued anymore. And it came with a Tactical Tailor Malice Clip. It's pretty neat. And I'm uh, gonna get the knife out before we wrap this up. So here it is, the Nim Ravis. And this is the plain edge drop point or spear point. Let me see what it's, let's see. Okay, it doesn't have the blade type, but it is the plain edge. Beautiful little knife. It's a little smaller than I remember, which is fine. Got some jimping on the spine. That jimping's a little, little rough. <laughs> so if I was actually gonna carry this or use this, I'd almost wanna smooth that down, but um, really nice little knife in the steel. It's a 154 CM, so really phenomenal blade steel. But yeah, really cool kind of piece of modern military history. And like I said, I'm, I'm glad to finally have one. Uh, you know, I, again, I forgot about it and here we are. And I finally got my hands on one, so. I don't know if I'm gonna, you know, go out and use this hard or anything like that. I may carry it. We'll see. Maybe put it on a tactical rig. Not sure for now. I'm gonna store it back away and enjoy it as is. So folks, if you had a good time with the video, give me that thumbs up. Drop me a comment down there. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it. And you'll have a good one.